The young and the restless revealed that Phyllis could find herself in a difficult situation, precisely because of Carson. After all, if neither Michael nor Tucker could find him, her return would surely be to enter the prison. Because Christine wants to end in this case as soon as possible, when all evidence of Jeremy's murder turns to Jeremy. After all, Heather never did believe in what Phyllis did, especially after her fake death. However, perhaps opportunity is still something she can prioritize. After all, as a lawyer, she will do her best to fulfill her responsibilities. Phyllis seemed to be getting better at everything, even the fact that Tucker was one step ahead of them. In the end, she still agreed to what she offered. But if he was really bad, would she still accept it or not? Perhaps in return, Phyllis also has her own preparations. Not only is she helping herself, but she hopes good things will happen to her children. Phyllis began implementing the plan that Tucker suggested, and this also happened to her to meet Carson. After all, he was the only one who could get her exonerated. But can the action of the plan against Diane cause her to continue to make mistakes? After all, Tucker could conspire to make Diane Jack's new trouble while they smoothly build and grow the new company. Heather was also taken aback by this and wondered if Phyllis would manage the situation well. Because if Tucker doesn't get what he wants, he'll definitely not forgive her. Even when Diane is now the center of attention and Jack won't let her get into anything dangerous. Before that, they were still trying to find Carson's whereabouts. But unfortunately, the clue was interrupted. Does this make Heather worry if he's been murdered? After all, he was the only witness who could help Phyllis stay out of jail. However, how will they find this? He even understands his whole own situation and doesn't want to get dragged into trouble. Heather couldn't even be sure of victory no matter how talented she was, because the evidence that the police gathered was directed toward Phyllis. Victor on the side is also looking for ways to get Nick and Adam closer, even hoping that the two of them can work at McCall Unlimited. But how could Adam enjoy having his power contested by someone? Besides, his plot to defeat Newman Media could be doomed by failure. In the end, it only made Victor more angry. After thinking Adam would decide to join Nick, they even received Sharon's agreement to merge the company. This will make them take new steps in operating. What will happen in the near future? As for fans, what do you think about this? Can Adam move toward the larger goal of Newman Enterprises, but he may fail at the idea? Because in the end, not only Victor, but also Victoria would not let this happen. Besides, Newman Media and the leadership of Audra will really be. Victor won't fire her when they need a competent employee. Victor cares about Audra and Kyle after all, but he's more interested in his company than anything else. Please take the time to follow the latest developments surrounding the drama. Mm-hmm.